Yo, what is happening, my fellow gearheads? It is me, Gary Gearball 135 and today I'm going to be talking about one of the worst designed items in all of Fallout 4, the pipe guns. Pipe guns, in simple standard, are just a freaking pipe with a pile made out of scrap wood, a couple of wire, a bolt, and some tape. And all it can do is it can simply dish out not even... 15 damage a shot only has a clip size of 12 before upgrades, but you can have it have like a 46 mag and it can be fully automatic and semi auto, but it only can do on certain things with certain upgrades. For example, when you have the hair trigger receiver, it increases its damage per second and fire rate, and the 45 receive receiver only adds 9 damage to it. Nine. Even though on other weapons it can do freaking double that. That's right. Like double or triple that. It's, it's just stupid. And the thing, it's so confusing how it works. Like, you pull the trigger, then it will pull the pin back and then it would hit this, but you load the bullets into this magazine right here. There must be like a spring in there or something, and a spring inside the magazine itself that pushes it in, and then the thing pushes it up into there. And then this thing moves. And for some reason, for the bolt action ones... Wait, they... Let me see if they have that. They do have a pipe bolt action... They do have a pipe bolt action pistol basically looks exactly the same has 34 damage but it's still freaking useless sure it could do decent damage for things but it can seriously be very annoying to use and plus if you make it into the and it uses the most common ammo in the game 38 caliber ammo which is a pretty common ammo type used by raiders. And also, seriously, who the hell would use these? Seriously, you're more likely to get this thing to blow up in your hand if they had that as a mechanic in the game, where if you use them too fast, it would break in your hand like in the old condition system, which I hope they bring back in Fallout 76. And then finally, we have the worst variant of them, the pipe revolver. The pipe revolver is a piece of crap. It freaking sucks. It sucks more than trying to fight a freaking death claw with nothing but a penny at attached to the end of a stick. It only does 24 damage, has only 83 range, it's 61 accuracy. It has just the, the worst accuracy out of any type of gun, meaning it's almost impossible to hit things with. And all of its receivers don't do much much better. You only can add 18 damage to this thing, and with the gun nut perk, you can only double it, and it can only do, like, somewhat 60 damage. Even though the 44 caliber pistol can do... Let me find it. Even though the freaking 44 caliber pistols can do... Triple that without any upgrades. 48 damage a shot with 44 ammo. It, it's just way better in every single way. Sure, the ammo is almost impossible to find. Then there's a ton of special variants like the Eddie's piece and the Kellogg's pistol and the Gainer. But that one's a piece of crap too. It only does fire damage. 10 millimeter pistol, pistol, the Deliverer, the Wastelander's friend. All of these pistols are good, um, except this one. But you can use it as a utility, not a weapon. But I could get into another video on that later on. And you can have other options that are just way better. Like... Laser muskets. Laser guns. Protects John's gaze. All of these other weapons are a lot better... ...than these three crappy weapons. So, honestly, whatever you do... ...if you play Fallout 4... ...just... Never, and I repeat, never try to find or use these. Sure, they're default weapons when you get to the game, 
but just 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 never use them. But they look so. And another fact that you might be thinking, but they look so cool when they're upgraded. Graded. I mean, look at this. That thing looks freaking badass. I mean, look at that. That too, because it's got a knife, a suppressor. Wait, at first I thought you could only add one mod to the end. And then you have this stock, which won't even work because I did the math, because the spring isn't strong enough to compress the weight of the shot against your body when you pull that trigger. And some people wanted them to look like this, which would be a lot better to look at. Okay. So personally, my opinion on these weapons aren't that good. They just freaking suck. And just just avoid these like the plague itself. Anyway, if you if you agree with me, leave a comment in the bottom saying that you agree. If you like the video, leave a like. If you don't like it, just dislike it. I don't care. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe on my videos. And I'll see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.